What's going on y'all? Let's look at displacement maps to distort our graphics. First we need to create a new layer. So I'll just come down here, click new layer. From there we need uh, a black and white image. So what I'm going to do is go filter, render, fibers. From here I'll use something like these settings are going to look good for this. I hit command shift U on my keyboard to desaturate that. From there, I'm going to go to my adjustments and I'm going to add a levels. Just so I can really make the darks darker and the whites whiter. And okay, that looks good to me. So the next step is just to save this image somewhere. I'll just do it out to my desktop, call it displacement map save so i've got that displacement map saved out to my desktop next i'm just going to select my type layer here and come up here to filter distort and displace so from there we just have to add in values here it all depends on the size of your artwork mine's 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels so i'm going to go with something like eight and eight because i don't want to go too crazy with it so i'll hit ok from here, we need to just locate where we saved that file, displacement map, and I'll hit open. And then there you have it. You can see basically it took the black and white areas in our image and used it to distort and move um, our type layer here. So anyways, you can get a pretty cool grungy effect with that. And I'll show you one more. This one was done um, by rendering clouds, actually. So that's just up here, filter, render, um, as we did actually, if I just um, click on that. Okay, filter, render, and clouds. And I'll just show you what that does real quick. It does this, and so I just did the same process. Uh, and I got this kind of, looks like this type went through the washing machine or something like that. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. I do have a sandwich in the fridge, so I'm gonna go take care of that, and I hope you all have a good day. Make sure to do all the things, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.